Welcome to Reflections, for anyone looking for just a little bit of church. In today's Gospel reading, we hear of another spectacular moment of proof that Jesus is the Son of God. Let's listen carefully to Matthew's Gospel. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Here ends the reading. Last week, Peter, James, and John witnessed the amazing transfiguration of Christ and became complete believers that Jesus was the Messiah. This week, all of the disciples witnessed Jesus walking on water in another of the New Testament's spectacular moments. While at first being overcome with fear, the disciples are calmed by Jesus and his words to not be afraid. I, for one, imagine the tumultuous howling wind and huge waves battering the boat. And then what seems to be an apparition of Jesus comes walking toward the boat on top of the water. Jesus moves toward them without any impedance from the wind. Like last week's transfiguration, I have a sense that this could be a scene out of a special effects movie where water and wind are two of the key characters, and all of the men in the boat are fraught with fear. If we feel the wind and sense the high waves that could even overcome the boat, we can share in the disciples' fears. And if we saw what they thought was a ghost walking on the water towards us, we too would be afraid. But Jesus calms the disciples with his words and his actions, including stopping the wind. Jesus is preparing his friends and indeed all of us to be good disciples. For if we just realize that Jesus is with us all the time, we never need to be afraid and we can continue to do good works for our Lord. If we think back on the biggest stormy winds of our lives, health scares, loss of family members or friends, or career and financial setbacks, we can relate to the disciples' fears, and we can remember how such fears paralyzed us at times in our lives. But if we remember Jesus, or even better, imagine that he is just ahead of us, a seeming apparition, but indeed real, we will sense the comfort and hear the calming words of our Christ. We will be able to better face any of the challenges of life, any of the storms, 
by keeping him in our mind's eye just ahead of us. When we do discipleship work, we need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus and not distracted by the winds and storms around us. If we follow and have faith in him as good disciples, we will truly be able to walk on water. And all of God's children say, Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My song choice this week is Walk on Water by Saddleback Worship. I hope you enjoy and have a great week. Amen. <laughs>